In this video tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through the, the file structure for creating child themes. Now, we're not talking about the file structure for the actual theme itself. We're talking about creating your very own child theme. Now, if you haven't seen any of the other video tutorials, a child theme is just a basically an additional template design for your website. So if you're using DirectiPress, a child theme would be an additional template for your Directory website. You can see all of the currently installed or existing child themes by clicking on the general setups tab and then this website templates list here you can scroll down and click any of the actual template options here to view some of the child themes that are pre-installed with DirectiPress. So what we're really going to be doing is adding a new one to this list and then setting it up in some of the other video tutorials. So first things first we go over to the file structure for our theme so if we go on WordPress content, themes, DirectiPress Inside the Directory Press folder, there's another folder called Themes, and this is where we store all of our child themes. So you can see the names here reference the names in the admin area here. Now, all the system does is it knocks off the beginning bit, Directory Press, and then it changes all of the dashes to spaces so we can set up cleaner looking captions. So, for example, we have April, Cars, GIF, Directions, etc. So as you can see here, um, we have Directory Press um, dash April. So, all it's done is knocked off Directory Press and given us a better caption for, um, for April. And it's the same with all the other one, Cars. Anything within a dash in between, it puts a space there. So, we have clean dash directory dash black, and that reverts to clean. Um, nice space directory, nice space black. So what we're going to be doing is creating our very own child theme. Now the default file, which is this directory press hyphen default, contains all of the minimum file options required to create a child theme. So what I usually recommend you do if you're going to create your own child theme is just first copy and paste this default one to create a new one. Okay, and then you give it a unique name, obviously a name that's not already within this folder. So I'm going to give it a name, Marks Child theme. Okay, so now what we're going to do is confirm that this new child theme is, is, is been created just by clicking on the general setups tab again and then scrolling down the list and looking for our new one. And as you can see here, it's there straight away, Mark's child theme. So we can click on that and then with that and save the changes to apply um, the new child theme to our website. If I go back to the folder view again, I want to take you through what the files are within this child theme and what are the minimum files are required to make the child theme work correctly. So I'm going to click on it. Inside we have two key folders. One's called CSS, lowercase, and one's called images, lowercase. Now the CSS folder stores a single file called styles with an S dot CSS. And the system will look for this file um, when it loads your new child theme. And it will apply all of the styling you apply to this file to your website. So things like the background color, etc. you can put within this child theme. And this will apply all of the CSS. If you click on the images um, folder, this is where you store all of your images. And by default, the only thing it will look for is a logo, and which is a logo.png. So basically, if the user hasn't added a logo already, or you're presenting the template to a client, you can create your own logo to make it look a little bit nicer when you um, start your presentation. And the last file that's part of the default um, child theme is a, a, a file named screenshot, lowercase, and it's a PNG file again. And this basically just loads the admin error screenshot. So as, as the user selects a different child theme in the admin error, the screenshot file here is the file that's referenced to here. And that's the minimum files that are required to create a child theme. You don't need to drag any of the core files to, to customize it just yet. This is the minimum files that you would need to create a child theme. 